Are gaming chairs better than office chairs? Which one is better for comfort and posture? In this video, I will go over some key reasons why each one is better and I will compare them. The topics are design, aesthetics, comfort, ergonomics, extra features, and price. First, let's talk design. This is definitely one of the more noticeable differences. Normal office chairs are meant to blend more than stand out. If you're in a Zoom call or something, this might be the best option for you. The colors of office chairs are usually not noticeable. For example, black, gray, and brown. This might have to do with the materials that they make these out of. For example, if it's brown, it's most likely leather. Gaming chairs, on the other hand, come with these massive color options. So if you're a streamer or a person who uses RGB lights, this might be more of your vibe. Most gaming chairs also have a racing style, and here's why. These chairs are actually all made by similar companies in China, so I suggest you to find a good brand like Secret Lab for example. If you want a more minimalistic look, office chairs generally look more better in normal environments. Like for a family computer in the living room, office chairs do have some of these features, but that's not guaranteed depending on your budget. The materials are really dependent on the price. But generally, anything less than 100 bucks won't be a good fit for most people. And the material quality won't be as good. I suggest the $100 to $300 range for both gaming and office chairs. In terms of quality, gaming chairs generally put more money into the design and comfort second. Whereas, office chairs put comfort first and design second, which I will get into more later. Most gaming chairs do have included lumbar support and a headset pillow, which do add to design and quality. They are pretty good, a neat feature office chairs don't have. It doesn't really matter because office chairs don't need them due to their comfort in the chair itself. Beware that some chairs were literally taken from race car manufacturers and rebranded, so they might not be as optimized for sitting for long periods of time. Office chairs let you do this due to their design because they're meant for like the name says, an office in front of a computer. So gaming chairs win the design and look side of things, but office chairs win the comfort side of things. Next is probably the most important type, big in a chair, and that's comfort. Office chairs take this category with ease because office chairs are way more comfortable based on a price point perspective. Thing is, most of them can't adjust for your position. Gaming chairs can recline, adjust for height, adjust the arms for height, and so much more. So gamer chairs do tend to be more comfortable if you sit a certain position that office chairs can't let you sit in. For example, leaning all the way back which no one really does, but hey, it's still a nice feature. It's true that humans adjust positions over time and gamers do that for really long. So this makes total sense that gaming chairs can adjust more. Oh yeah, but can you do this? Though you would want to straighten up your posture yourself, it's still a benefit for gaming chairs. Armrests are also better on gaming chairs because one size fits all in office chairs sucks. I personally had to lower and raise my chair just to fit the desk I was using as I could just raise the arm if I was in a gaming chair. This is really bad for posture and for comfort. So. If you're a person in my situation with a super tall or short desk, get a gaming chair or a chair with adjustable arms. Not all gaming chairs have all these, so keep in mind. Basically, gaming chairs are the best when it comes to ergonomics. Before I go into which one is more worth it based on price, here are some last differences I want to mention. Gaming chairs have accessories like the pillow for your bike back, aka lumbar pillows, and a cushion for your neck. These are helpful for good posture, and I'm happy that brands include them in gaming chairs. Some come with footrests, so look at that in your chair before buying it. Office chairs don't usually come with anything. Some don't even include armrest. Another thing is that to assemble, both chairs are pretty simple. More main parts like a seat, back, arms, and wheels. It's really easy to assemble and um, just use it. Now, let's get into price. On Amazon, the average gaming chair is like 100 to $200. It's pretty easy to decide which one you want to get. But again, don't pick one that looks exactly the same 
but cost more because they're probably made by the same company, just different branding. Office chairs depend on what you're doing. Again, $100 to $200 is a good range. It can handle long sessions, comfortable, and good for posture. By the way, any chair won't get rid of bad posture, so don't think that just because you have a headrest, you're healthy. Office chairs have better comfort per dollar because gaming chairs cost more for their reclining and customizable features. So yeah, in conclusion, office chairs for comfort, gaming chairs for adjustability and design. So it really depends on you. Thanks for watching and let's have a discussion about this in the comments below.